But what do we have going on here? Uh, EMP, EDC, that's our logo there. Kind of looks like an atom with the human right there in the middle. All right, what do we have inside? <laughs> oh my gosh, take this thing out. Holy crap. Okay, come on, buddy. There we go. Oh my goodness, you guys. Check this thing out. <laughs> I am a little speechless. A little speechless for a second. Let me get the camera to focus, right? That would be nice. A little speechless. Check this guy out. I gotta, I gotta take it in. I gotta just take a second to take this guy in right now. We got fluted titanium going on. Holy smokes, this fluted titanium feels really, I mean, really, really good. This thing is a frame lock and it is a front flipper. Guys, if you know anything about the channel and you've been following me for any amount of time, I have been dying to get a front flipper in the channel for a while. I've been looking at some budget options and things like that, but man, this thing being my first front flipper, what a treat, what a treat. So. Yeah, first impressions are very, very nice. So without further ado, go ahead and give this guy, and please mind, this is my first time from flipping a knife. All right, here goes nothing. Ooh. Oh, okay, check that out. Let me give it a nice little blade wipe right there, a little clean up. <laughs> check out this blade, you guys. This is a savage looking blade. Uh, what, what would this be classified as? A Tanto? Yeah, definitely a Tanto for sure. And it's a hollow grind right here and uh, a little bit of a flat grind in this portion. Got the blade hole going on there. Again, it is a frame lock. We have still inserts on this guy. I want to say we do. That's what that screw is for. And uh, let me try the action one more time for the flipper. Oh, all right, now, now we're talking. All right, now we're talking. I'm getting the hang of it. I gotta make sure on the way out here, make sure you don't put your index in a way where it will block this part. Ooh, there it is. We also can thumb deploy, right? Can we? No, we can reverse flick. Here we go. There it is. Got the reverse flick action going on right there. Boom. And I gotta tell you the weight on this guy, it feels so, so lightweight. I could get used to front flippers very, very quick. I wanna say part of me wants to thumb deploy it and you sure can, right? It would have been nice if it had a little bit more of a chamfered, you know, a little like thumb room there for that deployment, but uh, you can certainly thumb deploy. You can certainly thumb deploy. All right, I just did it a second ago, maybe not. <laughs> right guys, this blade here is gorgeous. Check this thing out. Got crazy jimping going on right here in the back. Nice and awesome good and ergonomic friendly handle deep pocket carry clip here about this much of the knife is going to show and this is a nice blade length check out this tile this is pretty sweet pretty sweet and uh, i bet this thing is super razor sharp as well right and it's also sharp on this end here too right this tip of the tanto could be used as a utility tip right there which is going to put in work no doubt about that and it's a drop shutty let's see Yes, it is. Uh, I feel like this guy is pretty new. It still needs some breaking in persuasion, if anything. And I just need to get better at front flipping. I feel like you could also, some people front flip it like this with their index. Boom, check that out. <laughs> All right, let me give you guys a quick up close and then we'll move on to the next knife. But man, oh man, does this thing look sweet. It looks sweet and I cannot wait to EDC this guy. Got a nice forward choke position here, finger choil. And bam, yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna be pretty, pretty good right there um, to be able to forward choke, have a little bit better control. Again, I have medium hands, uh, not too large, not too small. And I got plenty of handle here. And if I forward choke, I definitely have even more handle left. So that is this guy. I'm not even sure what the name of it is. I'm gonna put it in the screen right now uh, if I haven't already done so. But man, oh man, this thing is sweet. First impressions are obviously uh, off the charts right now. A little bit of milling going on, if anything. And uh, let's move on to the next knife. Here we go. The first knife we looked at right here, this little guy, nice and slicey, easy to carry, small factor. Then we looked at this nice fixed blade, right, with sheath and everything. That's pretty cool. And keep in mind, guys, I'll be dropping reviews for each one of these. 
the Osher Nice um, liner lock right here was the third one that we looked at. Then we looked at this guy. We still gotta get a feel for it, but I promise you I'll get the hang of it. And last but not least, check this guy out. Boom. There you have it, guys. Got some wonderful, amazing unboxing for you all today. <laughs> really, I'm speechless right now. Don't know what to say. It's quite a lot of knives that I'm going to be EDCing here over the next week or two. Honestly, I may not even have that much time because typically the cycle is that, you know, we, we borrow the knives for about a week and then we have to send them to the next person on the pass around. But uh, I'm going to try to EDC them like crazy over this next week because there's just so much here. So much to take in right now. I just can't even, I don't even know where to start. So, of course, this is a unboxing experience, right? First impression. Uh, you guys saw what my reaction is out of the box. It would be very unfair to call this a review since obviously I need to spend some time EDC in these knives, experiencing them myself so I can gather some feedback to share with you all. So if you aren't already subscribed, this will be an awesome time to subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button while you're at it because why not? It helps the channel grow and it helps uh, this video reach a larger audience. On the way out, if you want to help out the channel a step further, you can do so over on Patreon for as little as $1 a month. If you made it to the very end, you guys are the real MVPs. Thank you all so much for all your support. Chances are the review for the Civivi Sentinel Strike is going to be ready to go. If that's the case, I'm going to put a card right here for you guys to check out that video next. You guys take good care of yourself. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.